Hey, it's Bree here from the Treehouse. So I have this old, I mean, it's like a, a relic, I'll be honest, Toshiba laptop. And I had to get some information off of it today. So I went to power it up and I got this wonderful enter current password. It's a BIOS password, which I don't, I don't, I could not, I kept trying to add it in. I'm trying to give you a screenshot of this old laptop. So I, I kept trying, it gives you three tries and then it shuts off. Um, and I kept trying to remember the password, but it's not, I, I knew my regular password for signing in, but it's not that. So anyhow, so here's what you need to do. And it, it's really simple, but you've got to follow these steps. Okay, so you're gonna take out your battery. First of all, I'm gonna put this out here. Okay, so take, remove your battery. Okay, so in the back you'll have this battery. Remove that. Okay, make sure you have a power cord to plug in. You're gonna need that. Then you have these two RAM cards here, and you're going to just remove the top one. So I'll show you, see they have these little clips on the side, if you see those. If you, if you pop those, then it pops up. See how it popped up? And you can remove it, okay, very easy. Okay, you remove that RAM card, you can set it to the side. Keep the bottom one in. Do not remove that one. I saw another video where the guy said to remove it, and that really does not, didn't work for me. I tried it a number of times. Then you're going to take here, I'm gonna zoom in here. If I can, as much as I can. You see those three X's? And see underneath there are these two solder pieces? You're going to take a screwdriver, okay? Just take a screwdriver, and you're going to short circuit those. If you've ever short circuited like on a capacitor or that um, to get rid of the electricity in something, uh, you short circuit it. So you're gonna hold that down on those two. And here, oh, one other important piece, sorry. Okay, you're not gonna do that yet. You're not gonna hold down the screwdriver yet. Make sure you remove your hard drive, okay? It just clicks out, remove that, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put it back in because I'm done with that part, that piece of it. I don't need to do that, but I just wanted to show you. So you're gonna hold down the screwdriver. I'm also, I, I've already done this and it works, which is, I, I don't like to put videos up and then things don't work. So, all right, so I put that back in. Let's see how it snaps back in easy here. I'll show you, I'll show you that process again. So you unclick it, popped up, all right? Pop it out. After you're done doing the steps that I'm gonna tell you, then you pop, pop this back in there, pop it down, you're done. Put the covers back on, it has these little covers. Okay, you can put the covers back on, and be done. But okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna pause this for just a second. Okay. In order to accomplish this, you're gonna have to do this by yourself, unless if you have somebody to help you, great, but if you're trying to do it by yourself, okay, you're gonna set it on its side, your, your laptop, you're going to use your screwdriver to short circuit there, you know, in the XXX. Okay, you have to hold that down, then plug in your power source here, okay? And then turn, while you're holding it down on one side, then this is why you have it set up on the end and angle like that. You're going to hold the screwdriver short circuiting, and then you're gonna turn on your power. Within seconds of doing that, you'll see that screen enter current password. Uh, what was that again? I think that's what it says. Yeah, enter current password will not come on. You'll get um, some other um, text scrolling down your screen. You're good, okay? Then you can turn it off. You're gonna put your RAM back in. You're gonna put your hard drive back in. You can put your battery back in and it will work. Uh, you'll get to your regular login screen, log in your password, you know, your regular password, not your BIOS, and you will be good to go. So that's the, the solution around if you get that blue screen kind of a death where you're like, what was that password? I don't know what that is because it's not your regular password, okay? It's a BIOS password. So um, that should solve your problem. Just remember to do these steps, okay? Make sure you take out one of the RAMs, leave the bottom leave the bottom one in, okay? Take the top one out. Make sure you take out your hard drive. Make sure you take out your battery, okay? 
Then set it up on, the, on its side, short circuit the triple X, the two solders there. I'm trying to see if I can get them in there. See those two? See the triple X underneath those two silver solders? Short circuit those with a screwdriver. While you're holding, while you're short circuiting that, plug in your power adapter. And then while you're still holding the screwdriver, turn on your power button on your, let me see if I can see it. Turn on your power button. And within seconds, that uh, problem will be gone. You can unplug everything, put back in your top um, RAM memory card, put your hard drive back in, put your battery backpack in, turn on your computer and a problem will be gone. Well, uh, hope that's helpful. If it does, please like and subscribe. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye.